all right you guys this is the other thing that will be for sale basically parting this out before this goes to gets cut up and goes to the junkyard this is a toter for the indianapolis indiana chrysler plant the gentleman's dad worked for chrysler corporation the plant in indy and he brought this home this is pretty rough but it's got the badges on it still though it's got the badges Jed it's got the dodge it's got the 800 badge there, you go. there is no engine but there's a transmission yeah it's still a transmission so gearbox got a gearbox got all that stuff in i'll be keeping the doors for myself because i think that decal is cool so why not uh, hold on i think it's got most of the, the stuff for that Oh, I mean, I'm assuming that's for like, uh, I can't think of what it's called. Jed and no one's talking about. Uh, I just see it's throughout badges. Um, the car truck's getting cut up and going to a scrap yard. But again, if somebody needed the hood's still good on it, and if somebody needed parts. <laughs> It's got gauges in it, all the little trinkets, knobs, all that stuff. There's the distributor. Um, he may want some parts off this, man, because it's like that. Tree fell on it. Again, this is a toter, like you would haul trailers around at the Chrysler plant. I mean, the truck's complete, handles, gauges, all the trinkets, everything. Roof's caved in. It's rusty. I kind of wish I could save the cab, but he wants it out of here. And partying out is probably the best thing to happen to it. Yeah, it does not Say it again. The rear end is locked up tight in this thing. It doesn't roll. It does not they roll. hooked a semi tow truck to it when it was up by the house. Which makes me wonder if it just wasn't engaged. And, and it freaking did not roll at all. No. They literally pulled it like twice and when it budged. So, we're like yeah, we'll, we're gonna take it home and transmission. I'm gonna try and see if these tanks are worth saving. If they are, I'll keep the tanks. But somebody wants the whole thing, understand, it does not roll. You'll have to figure it out and get it on a trailer. Make a decent offer, make a decent offer, and it could be yours before it goes to the crusher. Because I know how much there is in scrap. Again, this truck is actually from the Indianapolis, Indiana Chrysler plant. His dad worked there for years. Since 19, 30 years. 30 years. 30 or 40 years. He started in 1964, I think he said. And they just want the stuff out of here. All right, see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah, one more thing, guys. The door glass is in great condition. No cracks, no... No, no milky, no, no. Chips, I can see. Front windshield is milky. Back windshield's good. That door glass over there is good. Looks so, like the gauges are really nice. The gauges but figured somebody might get some use out of it so where's the parts it's going to the scrap yard next week will be getting cut up and going so making an offer and if you want it or you want parts let me know chrysler corporation and then there is this now this is an automotive related but it's some kind of john deere I'm not sure what the hell it is actually. I'm not a farmer. But he's wanting it gone. So make us a deal on this. It's probably been sitting in this barn. This barn is getting torn down by me and dad for the garage to build onto the garage. So this stuff has to go. That's some kind of thrasher, dude. There's that's not for sale. His cousin or somebody's coming to get that. But that's for sale. I'm not sure what the hell that is, but it's probably just scrap, but I mean but, it's all still there. It's some kind of thrasher, like but if you want this, this is like a John Deere, some kind of farm equipment. It's a, it's a planter. What is it? It's a planter. I don't know how many rows. I mean, it's old. I don't know if it's worth anything at all. I mean, it's probably not worth anything. If not, it's getting cut up and going to the junkyard. But if somebody wants it, let us know and we'll make a he, deal on it. He, he probably sells some of this equipment around here. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. He, he, didn't, he didn't say. Did he, he said his uncle or cousin or something. His dad was into collecting all his stuff, so. 
Yeah, this is next to come down, so. Yeah. So, because this is going to help us build into the garage, get the shop bigger yeah, and better. The garage up there, I'm basically just going to take it down and move it. I mean, his dad worked for Chrysler and got what's them things floated up there in the barn. He's got three of them that's supposed to go in the junkyard. Toters. Um, and one of them is like a little forklift toter. Like it was being a plant that pulls it around. Like you see it like a, you ever watch a movie and they're at the airport and they're hauling a baggage car. You know, everybody's waiting up to the plane and there's a guy driving a little thing with a bunch of carts hooked up behind it. Yeah, he's got he's got three of those for sale. I'm not sure if that semi thing's called a coder or not, but um, some people it's just a semi, but yeah, it's called a toter. It's not. So we got some smaller ones that are gonna go junkyard. If somebody would like to buy them, let us know. Yeah, the two inside don't have any motors. Again, they're from the Chrysler plant in Indianapolis. So. His dad collected his stuff, and the stuff needs to go bye-bye, and so sad his dad collected it all for all these years, but they have no use for the stuff, and went out of the way, so see you guys next time. Bye-bye. And then this is where, like, there's three barns that are coming down here. That one, and this is the one that fell, but I'm probably going to keep this. His dad had this. I'm not sure it was a trailer or what. I'm keeping a straight axle out of it. You never know when you're going to do a gasser and you'll have the parts there. So, well, that's pretty neat.